Hey everyone, it's Rob here at the Video Gadgets Journal and today we're looking at an iOS update. Whenever Apple release a new update, I always make sure that the screen recorders that are widely available still work. And today we are looking at iOS 10.0.3. And I'm not sure if this will be available on all iOS devices because if you read the description it tells you that it fixes a problem where users temporarily lost cellular connectivity. So whether you would need it for an iPad which doesn't have any cellular network I'm not sure but this is the current test on my iPad. It shows that it's iOS 10.0.2 and it's up to date. So whether that will appear for everyone I'm not sure but I'm going to test it on my iPhone anyway. So the next process is obviously to download and install the update, which I will do right now. And what I will do once the update is finished is I will do a fresh install of Airshow and a fresh install of video and do very quick recordings to see if anything's changed. Perhaps the most interesting question may be, does this fix the Playback and Airshow? I suspect not, but we'll try anyway and see what happens. And if it doesn't work, well, we've got Darth Vader here to keep a keen eye on things and use the force if he needs to. Okay, update done. Let's check on the iOS version number now. We are up to 10.0.3. Let's start with the most popular iOS screen recorder out there, which is, of course, Airshow. And we go to savagepool.com, tap on Get Airshow, and that should pop the application onto my iPhone directly. And just in case you've never watched one of these videos before, when you install an application that's not from the App Store, it won't work initially because it will have a certificate which needs to be trusted. And in order to trust that, you need to go to the settings. But let me demonstrate, first of all, what happens if you just try and launch the application as you download it. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Hurry up and download. There we go. So tapping on Airshow says you have an untrusted enterprise developer. In order to fix that problem, you go to the settings. Um, let's just get back to the beginning. So go to general, scroll down to profile and device management tap on the enterprise app certificate now this may, name may change as airshow gets revoked and a new certificate is issued tap on the blue words the red trust button and that should get airshow working so with ios 10.0.3 does airshow still work in the sense that you can launch the application and the answer is yes it does of course it does i knew it was going to work but well i just had to test it just in case now we'll do a very quick recording to see if the black and grey screen has been fixed and in order to do that I will turn off smooth seeking put it up to 1080p record in portrait and very quickly do a recording with the iPhone I hardly ever record on the iPhone so it's looking a little different but let's get to the home screen you can see the red bar air shows recording I'll quickly go in to Clash Royale just to give you a look at a game come out of that and that will be enough recording for this quick demo stop it and then go to the video player and I presume when I play this video it will play in black which, which it does but you can see you could hear my voice so the recordings definitely worked and I have done other videos on how to kind of fix this issue so that you can watch your videos and edit them if you need to. So essentially nothing has changed with Airshow. It still installs, you can still open the, the application, you can still record, but you still have the iOS 10 problem of playback. As I say, visit my previous videos to find out what that all means. And we'll move on to the other iOS screen recorder that everybody is interested in, and that's video. I'll leave a link in the description on where to download this because the link up here isn't quite the full URL. But anyway, you'll get to this Chinese site where you tap on the blue button to install it. And that should bring up a pop-up saying, do you want to install it? Which you do. And this works in exactly the same fashion as Airshow in that the application is a certificate one so if you try and launch it it will tell you that it's an untrusted enterprise developer so you've got to go to the settings and trust it and i'll go through all of the actions that you need to take just to prove that this is a real test so untrusted enterprise developer go to settings we're gonna to have to come out there a little bit so we're on general device management uh certificate there i can't even pronounce that word uh, but we'll trust it 
So does video work on iOS 10.0.3? Well, it does launch, so that's the good news. And I'll just wait for the settings to pop up, which say have. Video is terrible for adverts. It crops up all the time, uh, quite irritating. But anyway, it's disappeared. And we'll do a very quick recording. I seem to remember I've got to turn on a couple of little things to get that working. Let's go to start, done. Done, swipe up, airplay mirroring, video Rob's iPhone, and with any luck we'll hear a beep. Oh! Well that reset the phone. Now that's interesting, hmm. I wasn't expecting that, I was expecting video to work in exactly the same way, but that crashed my phone. So we'll wait for it to boot up and then we'll try again, but that was a little worrying. Is it going to repeat itself or was that just a one-off? Okay, the phone has booted up again, so nothing catastrophic. Maybe it was his fault. Let's go to video and try exactly the same settings again. Hmm, video is a little unresponsive. There we go. I seem to have got it working now. Turn on that. Start. I haven't done any much recording on the iPhone, so it may be that video is just temperamental on the iPhone. But we're going to find out now, I guess. If it doesn't mirror again, then we might have some problems. Usually you'd hear a beep. I think it's going to work this time. It's asking for the microphone. Still no beep, although I have got it on silent. Maybe it is actually recording. Let's see. It has a red bar at the top. And I'll do a quick swipe. Go into Clash Royale and then come back out of it hurry up here we go right that's enough so we will stop the video recording usually it would tell me that it stopped recording as well but it hasn't so that's a little interesting I think things are working here it's just probably because I installed the application and tried to run it straight off anyway it seems to have recorded the video this time I'm not sure if it'll have audio or microphone because usually when you record video for the first time when you launch the application, it's not that reliable. Let's test. Yeah, it has recorded. I can't hear anything, but that can be a bit temperamental, as I say, when you first use video. So I would say that the crash when I first installed video was probably a one-off and it should work fine. So it looks as if, folks, if you do want to upgrade your iOS device to 10.0.3, nothing's going to change. Airshow is going to work exactly the same and video is going to work exactly the same. I'm not going to test BB Recorder because it's quite difficult to get your hands on it these days and the one that you can download off the App Store seems a little untrustworthy. So anyway, that's it for me from this video, folks. If you've got any questions, do pop them in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more iOS screen recording content and keep him happy. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.